Welcome back everyone to another episode of Civil Textures. My name is Ferdi and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a new access road into an existing road. So finally the troubles will go away because Site 3 d makes it easy because all you have to do is bring your topo, convert it to 3D and you will watch the rest while you watch the tutorials. Now I'm really excited about this video because as of recently we have a discount code for you guys when you purchase the site 3d license if you use the civil tech plan code then you will get a five percent discount now the code is valid until 28th of february and maybe i can get them to extend it a tiny bit more but it depends on you so if you're looking to acquire a new site 3d license use civil tech plan as your promo code and you will get five percent discount without further ado let's begin So the first thing we need to do is to create our existing ground model so we can be able to extrapolate the existing levels of the road. To do that, we're going to import our topographical service. So we're going to go open. We are going to go to our extra folder, select our topographical survey. Don't worry, I'll leave a link in the description. It will load and you can see we have our topographical survey. And to understand if we have already 3D information in it, we just click on display 3D view our little globe and you can see that we don't have any 3d information now to convert this into 3d side 3d has a nice functionality convert model from 2d to 3d with text levels so we're gonna go for that and you can see the maximum minimum we're just gonna hit convert now now we've got some few spikes and i already know why they're caused and we can disable them by going right click layers we're gonna minimize the model design topographical survey we're going to minimize the model topographical survey and we're going to focus on the model 3 topographical survey. Now, these are tree information. So I'm going to go to the tree information layer and then just remove it from the surface. And there we go. We've got our 3D model. And as you can see, this is our road and it drew the polylines. Now let's do some vertical exaggeration just so you can see. So this is our road. What we're going to do next is import our site layout. So basically we can see what new junction we want to create. So we're going to go file import autocad xftwg we're gonna go new access road and hit open now what we'll do is we'll bring our site layout i usually like drawing our center line and everything to make sure it's correctly so when i bring them inside 3d it will snap nicely as i said you need to create an existing road first so we can connect this one so we can create a junction to do that we're gonna go to the center line tools and go to new center line now what we're going to do is snap on the line that was created uh, when we converted our topographical server into 3D. And in order to get the best result, we want to go slightly away from the junction. Now make sure we enable the snap to vertices or hit F3 and we're going to start. So let's go here so you can see it's let's wait. There we go. We snapped and that's the next snapping point. We're going to snap here. Here and here or uh, maybe actually i want it here actually and right click finish now you can see i did a little mistake there we're just gonna use our delete point command select that point and that's it we fixed it since we drew from top to bottom that means we're driving from top to bottom and if we're driving from top to bottom our left hand side is on, on the right hand side of the screen you need to know this because this is how we're gonna create the existing road because we're gonna just create the curb we don't need to create recreate the whole road we just need the curb line and tiny bit of the road now we're gonna go to channel curbs and foot ways we're gonna highlight our road it would get highlighted and then we're just gonna left click and you can see because as i said we need the left side of the road we're gonna disable the right is duplicate and disable create right channel now in the width we're gonna type 0 0.1 if we keep it zero it does a weird thing that needs to create the junction so 0 0.1 works and we do not need the footway so we're just gonna keep the curb now if we hit ok you can see that it created this 0 0.1 road and the curb that's the gray the curb now let's look at it in 3d and let's maximize so you can see we've got our curb line we want to make sure that it is right on the existing ground model but it would have drawn it as best as it can to see the long section we're going to go to our long section tool and select our road left click and let's maximize and you can see we're pretty much there it's just there is slight gap now to fix this we have the level to surface if we click that what we'll do is grab the vertical alignment and push it or drape it into the existing model so we're gonna select the current survey it okay you can see now it's bang on with it now you can go further and tweak it slightly but 
we're doing a junction so they're gonna know what they're building so let's close this one and now we're gonna create a new center line for our road so let's start so we're gonna snap from here as you can see now all the way to the back here and right click finish we've got road two now we've got this one as road one I want to change it to existing to do that we're going to go center line properties select our road one and then we're just going to type existing road and then we're going to do the same for this one center line properties and we're going to name this one proposed road there we go now what we want to do is create the road again to do that we go to channel curbs and footways we select the road and now we're going to define the width to do that you can either type it in or we can pick so if we pick we're gonna snap here now if you cannot you want to snap somewhere in the middle just make sure you have the snap 20 point along lines enabled so you can see now we can snap anywhere here and we can see it's three meters we're gonna do the same for the footway we're gonna do snap and you can see it already picks up that you start from where you snapped on the carriageway so we're gonna snap to here and then we're gonna hit ok now see it automatically picked up that we're gonna create a junction let's make it nine just so we can show you how you can tweak it later on so create junction you can see we've created our road let's go 3d and have a look you can see we've got our road and the junctions perfect now we did a bigger radius that we needed so to change that we're gonna go to our junction tools then we're gonna go to edit junction dimensions we're gonna hover over the junction we want to change or the radius sorry and then left click and then make sure the snap 20 point along lines enabled and we snap here and same with there to there now if you don't have a drawing and you know exactly how much you need you can always uh, select it once and then right click into radius and we're gonna type six and hit ok now you can see i haven't drawn it actually correctly but i'm just snapping to it so there we go now we right click quit command and let's say we want to tweak the vertical alignment or the long section so we go to center line tools we go to show long section we select our road one let's maximize the screen actually before we maximize it pay attention to this so the left hand side is our junction and the right hand side is where we enter the side so bear that in mind so now because the junction is here as you can see this is our road we cannot move this point unless we move the existing road so let's say we want to create a point here so we can go let's say 1 in 40 because that was the highway guidance of the council and then go back 1 in 25 to do that we're going to go add point we're going to hover where we want to add the point we're going to add it and let's say we want to add it somewhere here and uh, let's right click quick command now we can see the gradient here is 1 in 88 and then 1 in 11 now we want to change this let's make it 1 in 40 to do that we're going to select the move point command we're going to go in the middle right click into gradient we're going to do for the left gradient 1 in 40 hit ok you can see you lifted it up and then it says here 1 in 13 to change that we're going to go again to our move point command now we're not going to hover over the middle but we're going to go here to the bottom and select into gradient and then say 1 in 25 hit ok and this is our new long section now we're going to add an arc as well to do that we're going to use our curve tool we're going to left click you can see we can as we expand the mouse it does it but you can always right click enter length and curve parameters and we're going to put length 20 for our k value to be 4 we can actually do 4 but i think there is a minimum of length it should be i think it's 20 is a good standard but let me know is it 15 or 20 or 10 which one is it so we hit OK and we've got our curve. Now if we close it and uh, let's go to 3D, have a look and see we've got our road. And if we want to see it without the surface, we can right click 3D surface and untick the 3 topographical survey. Now you can see we've got our curbs, we've got our L mouth and we, we, let's exaggerate it so we can actually see. So there we go. So we've got our 1 in 40 and then the 1 in 25 now let's add some contours to do that in the center line tools we're gonna go to contours gonna make sure every 0 0.05 let's say and every 5 and text size is fine Travel every 20 for both and hit ok and we've got our contours as well and you can see we are 73 650 and then we drop to 73 63 here at the midpoint now you can always play with the high and low point of the junction tools so you just go to the junction tools and use the uh, add low point or high point command but that's it for this tutorial 
it's pretty easy isn't it now if we want to export it into cad all we have to do is go file save as select the format you want in this case we want cad dwg now we are going to disable topographical survey 3d and new access road because we don't want to bring again the stuff that we already have and we're going to focus on the design topographical survey basically what we're designing and bring in a everything that we need if you don't want the hatchings we can just disable surface footway surface curve and surface road and let's hit export let's go to our main folder and i like saying s3d so i can use from side 3d and ex export or i can type export because some people might confuse it with existing and then proposed access and let's go to our cat and open our drawing just so we can see what we've got continue now let's zoom extend and you see we've got our road here so we've got our contours everything should be on a nice layered everything is layered out now if we run a purge command just to get rid of the stuff that we brought that we didn't need you can see we've got contours junction road center lines low points road channels road footways or junction annotation roads curbs and set out so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to use the civil tech plan promo code so you can get a five percent discount on your next purchase of site 3d license i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you next time